Hey guys, how's it going? Lick a giraffe here with uh, what I think is part 7 of my Total War Attila Western Roman Empire campaign. So, in the last video, quick recap uh, Emboricum was finally taken by someone that isn't me. Uh, as you can see, Britain is still very, very messy. Um, and I successfully oh defeated the Franks. Uh, big battle kicked their ass around here it went up and then just raised area because I can't be dealing with that I have too many other things going on uh, let me think did anything else happen uh, but I did battle with the Visigoths and I have retreated from uh, attacking the Visigoth army here mainly because I need to pull back because I have the Illyrians and the Roxolanians pushing down on me like uh, like something fierce so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn. Um, I've actually just finished up now. Doing all the necessary bits and bobs. So let's see who declares war slash attacks me next. Ah! Visigoths are attacking there. Super. Uh, okay. Okay, right. Cool, so I don't expect to win this one, but what I do expect is to weaken their army significantly, so when they do, they'll probably, what, sack this place. Uh, which is annoying, but once they do, I'll be able to crush them totally with the army I have stationed right beside here. Unfortunately, just out of uh, just out of reach of the reinforcement range of this province. But, uh, yeah, once once these guys get good and weak, I'm going to go in and stomp them. And then I can I can bring that army then back to my front line because uh, there are a lot of barbarians, and uh, I need to maintain my borders. So hopefully I will be able to get some more income as well because I, I would like a third army uh, on that border. If I'm honest, it is just a little a little too sparse for my liking. Okay, so I swear you guys must have seen this map so many times, it's not even funny. Uh, anyway, uh, to do, we got some guys over here, and we got some guys over here. Right, 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 right. I think what I'm gonna do is set my guys up here. Good old fashioned. And I'm also going to set my guys up here. So I'll be able to do a good bit there. And then I'm going to set my barricade here. Because I've learned now at this stage that these guys actually do quite a good bit of damage if they're positioned. Because they can kind of fire over into the side. So they do do a nice bit there. So then I'm going to have these guys. Uh, over here with these guys, kind of in support. I'll make them loose though in case the uh, catapult decides to have a couple of uh, precarious shots. And finally, my cavalry, I will set up. Where will I set him up? Because I want to destroy that on here because I absolutely hate artillery when it's in hand the eye. Mainly because they seem to be so goddamn accurate with it, like, the whole time. Um. Really sure now, to be honest. I think I think I'll stick them over here, and then just kind of run them around. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, okay. blame you if you're a little bored watching this. I must have I must have played this map so many times. Like it's, it's not even funny anymore how many times I've played this map in a defensive context. The odds are against us. It we is it is absolutely ridiculous. It's an ambush Oh, 
pretty, so I'm just going to plow these guys straight into the Anagra once they get enough kind of distance around. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Alright, let's send them in. They're going to go in. I don't really care, to be honest. Um, as long as they destroy that Onager, I'll be a happy man. Ooh, they might even going for the terror. That'd be very annoying, so hopefully I can get them wrecked pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, there are my archers, firing away, doing the Lord's work. To take out our him. So now, yes, these guys are going to be held here, and I will just fire on them with archer and tower. And it has proven to be surprisingly effective thus far. Don't know why these guys are going so slowly, but they need to hurry the fuck up. Come on. valuable men over here. Okay, they're splitting up now in an interesting way. A way that I don't particularly like, so... I'm gonna bring these guys over to this tower here and try to defend that. Okay, there they go. Smashing into the Onager. Brilliant. Okay, now it looks like they are, they are doing what I want them to do, then that's fine. But I will go bring these guys over here to protect this tower because I feel I can, uh, I can make a good go of it in, uh, in trying to defend that. So let's wait for those guys to do a little bit more damage. Just got to hurry up. Hey, yeah, see, doing some great damage to these guys. Might even kill their general. Who knows? I still haven't lost it one, I've lost one man now, but uh, so there's one thing I have been really impressed by, it is the defensive testudo when it comes to the Romans, it really is a saving grace for theirs. Alright, now they're routing, there they're shattered, I want to make sure they're absolutely destroyed, because I hate them so much, our two that's grand. And I'm going to run these guys at the back of these guys here, mess up their, uh, mess up their artillery, send these guys right into the Axemen. I don't expect them to do that well because I believe that uh, Swordsman actually lose against Axemen. Uh, but you know, I'm willing to try and also I have the tower on my side which is firing right into the back of them so I'm expecting quite a couple of kills from that. So I am quietly confident. So if I can catch both of these guys melee that would be amazing because that means they Neither one will be able to fire, and I'll just be able to chill out while my tower again does lots and lots of work. Okay, so, so far Archer's doing an absolutely amazing job. Like, it really is incredible. Kind of like damage they put out when, when positioned correctly. Oh, there's the uh, Axeman gone. Now I'm just going to chase these Archers. Now, I don't want to say it too early, but might actually do quite well in here because this flank is doing pretty well. This flank is doing extremely well. I managed to route those guys much quicker than I expected. So I am going to remain quietly optimistic for a while, if you don't mind saying. I like these hurlers though. So I feel like they're just going to bait me for a while. But I can't do anything now. I'm kind of committed. So I'll just I'll leave them running away. These guys still doing super. Actually, these guys even firing anymore. Oh, you know, there. I'll, I'll, leave them, I'll leave them doing that. Actually, I'll do whistling shot. Try to break them that way. We're still doing super job. guys down here and then just uh, fire fire away oh cool I'm engaging them in melee now there go the archers these 
rallying on other horses, that's fine. Just really need that unit to kind of maintain discipline. Back and hold, then I'll be looking really, really well. They're all pretty low and they've all broken a few times, so I think one good charge I should be able to break these guys entirely. And that will give this guy a bit of a break as he is getting pretty close to uh, to breaking. And I really don't want that. Oh, kill the enemy general. Oh my god, what perfect timing. There's one. Please. Brilliant. And then they're all fleeing. So final step, chase down the slinger unit. Going so well. Do I want to get my horses out of that tower range? Because friendly fire from towers on cavalry is absolutely devastating. It really is. One, nine, five, four. I'll chase down the bows. Why not? Then my experiment can finish off this warband here. Victory. The archer is 235 up there with the horses. I you see now the army from a totally destroyed. Oh god, that was so good. <laughs> I think I've definitely figured out the best way to set up my left flank anyway with limited resources with that uh, unit of testudo soldiers and the the archers beside them on the uh, on the barricade. That really really works. That works really really well. I mean, just because it gives the archers access to like the flank of armored units, <laughs> which is always super. Haha! Take that. So I seem to follow. Oh, okay, wait. There's the Visigoths. Ooh. Ah, jeez, the Saxons. I wondered when they would turn up. I wonder who I could ask to declare war on them, because their armies are all the way down here, which means their mainland must be really open right now. I wonder. Uh, what are the Morians doing? Why do they have half a stack? Ugh. Londinium. Why are the units also erect? <laughs> oh wow, wall strength, minimum of breaches, two. Wow. Anyway, let's see how well I can do here. Let's see if we're for this load. Yes, yeah, so I need to race my army that was fighting the Franks down back into my 
land to defend against the Saxons. I need to get the other army beside the now that pretty much defeated Visigoth army to destroy that. And then watch out where that other Visigoth army is coming from as it suddenly sails across the sea. And then of course I have like three or four uh, factions encroaching on my eastern flank. So I need to get on it pretty soon. <coughs> Already, Londinium. The blaze has begun in the settlement. <laughs> Fort absolutely wrecked. <laughs> oh man, I might try to set up beside the uh, actual working towers. I'll be that guy and this guy. And let's see what kind of uh, they're pretty much all melee actually. Hmm. With a lot of gear. Wow. <laughs> uh, Okie doke. I think I will set up right here. Seems as good a place as any. Uh, ooh. I trust I could split my forces. Might do here actually, because then there's just the very direct front or back. Ready. Defensive testudo. So we've got two testudos here. Then we have our heavy shot. Ooh, it's really much. Ah, it's facing the wrong way. That is annoying. Ah well. Uh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay, I think we're done about this. Uh, oh, actually, God, I didn't even realize these two perfectly working uh, towers here, actually. Ooh, I'll set up here. Two towers is most definitely better than one. Uh, so let me think now how to defend this. Hum hum hum. Do, 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 do. So, yes. On what? Hold. Let's see, I can set up there actually, because it's oh, it's, oh, it's only there. So in theory, I could do something like that. Do something like Defensive that. So then, archers are unfortunately facing the wrong direction. Which doesn't really work. So I just stick them. Hmm, not sure. So I'm here for now. I also have these guys and these guys. And then of course some cavalry, which I'll probably use just to swing around the back. Now barricades, barricades, barricades. Set one up there. And we will do, 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 do. set one up. Oh, set one up here. Sure, why not? Okay. Targetarie! Here we stand. We will defend our people and our lands to the last breath. By Christ, my sword will fall from my cold, dead hand. <laughs> I don't think I want to try to destroy that darn artillery unit. I think that will be my, my purpose for this. 
right, fast forward time. God, they have... I wasn't even paying attention. Like, how long did it take them to build that many siege towers? Like, jeez. It's absolutely mad. <laughs> uh, yeah, but nice that the two watchtowers went there, but, you know, it's not whatnot or something. Shell those guys there. Wait for these guys to sail on through. I thought they have what seven? Oh no, I actually have more men than them. So I wonder why it's like that. Oh wait, ah uh, yeah, that's a bit annoying now. Also, how did all these fires start? Our city has been brought to the brink of destruction. Hmm. I don't want them to stop. It's kind of making my men useless. <laughs> the gates fall really the useless. Grim news. Uh, as long as they don't destroy the towers, I am perfectly okay with city burning. Still, though, my units are now most certainly. Rapper. The enemy is breaking down anyway. out of our barricade. So this guy's over here. To rush the catapults as quickly as they can in loose formation so as to avoid any unnecessary casualties. City towers are absolute beast as well. Like they just melt units when like they have an exposed flank or whatever. They really do. I love them. The downside, of course, now is your units are pretty well armored, so they aren't doing as much as they do against the barbarians, but. They turn on not to destroy this. Yeah, you're, you're going to see a couple of a couple of casualties now. Yeah, once they kind of get the exposed flank. Okay, cool. So that's them gone. Stop them there. Let them get their breath back. I'll slowly walk them to here. Then I'm probably going to attack those guys. Curious to see how this happens. Oh, I will catch them, super.
surprised these guys aren't beating these guys better. Like the very light nice skirmish with cavalry. Not exactly sure what could go wrong here. To it. Beating them, I don't really understand this. Like, oh, wait, I know why it's because those damn debuffs are wrecking me. It's not too much of a big deal. As long as the skirmisher guys waste their skirmisher bullets on me. When I retreat, that's also fine. Also, yeah, once I lose that, that's gonna start ticking down and I can't let that reach zero as I found or else I will lose. These guys will get the fear. Yeah, let's see, there we go now. Oh, the horses are broken. Capture that point. Brilliant. The battle is turning in our favor. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Engage there. There we are. Alright, capture this back. Ooh, it actually goes quite quickly. I definitely don't want to lose because I lost goddamn capture points, so I might send these guys over there to take that really quickly. Oh my god, I really hope I'm able to capture this in time or I'm gonna be so mad. down so quickly. Sigh. I know it doesn't matter because uh, 
What's it called? Yeah, I didn't want it anyway, but still. Still, that, that should not have been... Should not have been a victory. Cheated. Uh, well, hopefully all the rebels and stuff will really slow these guys down. Ah, didn't even. Ah, jeez. Whatever. Temple sacked. Disease outbreak. Super. Everybody name it in Africa. Matter of state. What the matter of state is? These are always interesting. The local Novus Sphere gives a rag of fine cults to do with as we wish. Uh, let's see, I don't really need that. Don't really need that. I'll probably sell them because I do kind of need the money. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. Okay, faction capture the Danes. Oh, the Danes have joined against us. God damn it. That one lost. Sorry, Levy. It's fine. And I need more money, so I might do some more civic research. Okay, cool. These guys are able to get down there in time. First of all, I want to see who the Saxons are at war with. It better be somebody. Wow, just me. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly, and I may feed your tongue to the dogs. Okay, so they kind of like them. How about the Thuringians? Welcome. Speak. Come on. They kind of like them. Waste time for th you can't tell me that everyone likes them. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please don't bother. Nope. Looks like everybody likes them, so I'm going to do this by myself. Fine, uh, well, at least I can get them back into Augusta Trevorium. That's your command. So that's fine. So, oh, actually, if it's mostly war to Ox, God, God, those units are so bad. That's good, though, that's good. I can work with that. Um, so we've got my African legions. Or African legion, should I say. Thargo, Ardentum, and Constinia. <laughs> oh, nice. Alright, so we've got those guys away from the brink of destruction. So then next up is these dudes. So not quite strong enough. Yeah. But I will move them over here. Ready for orders. Put them in a defensive stance to get a little bit extra replenishment. Actually, these guys, yeah, these guys are fine for now. You there, get to work. So stick them there. Your command. I have this legion I'm gonna go wreck Visigoth. I have no idea how that is like that, but it's fine. It's fine. Not gonna, not gonna, not gonna argue too much. Just gonna load the map. Gonna do what I need to do and just uh, totally wipe out this army. And send him to do more useful things. I'll try and secure my quick, my settlement. Which are quickly being overwhelmed. There aren't those Visigoths, Visigoths. 
Alright, start deployment. When I first started playing, I didn't really uh, use skirmishers that much. I kind of preferred like slingers or archers. But now, after I've been playing for a while, I think I definitely prefer skirmishers. Like if you're able to protect them, or even actually, you don't even need to protect them. When you have four of them and you group them up, they can literally destroy anything that uh, tries to run towards them, just with a sauce like a solid volley of just really strong spears. Um, like, you don't even need cavalry to protect them because the cavalry will just melt. Okay, they're advancing towards me, which is good. Speed this up a little. Our reinforcements have arrived! Hurrah! Reinforcements that I didn't really need, but I'm happy to have nonetheless. Where are they? Are they there? I guess I have to run over here. I might be able to do something useful. Who knows? Like, look how inaccurate that Onager is. Ridiculous. So it gets more accurate the closer you get. I don't know. Probably does. Looks ready to fire to me, guys. Calvary there, don't want him jumping the gun too soon. Ah, yes. Do this while he wastes his ammo. Massacre. Yeah, five point are great, but they're oh so weak to uh, concentrated fire. They really are. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle.
Can't believe this gets so bloody. like a victory to me. Die, Vithimerus. Is that all? Okay. Wonderful. They have been put to the sword. Vienna, Vienna's okay. This guy, I'm not entirely sure what he's doing, so I'm just going to move this guy down here anyway. Just in, in preparation for him doing something weird. That guy's... Oh, actually, shit, why am I replenishing? Oh, it's the Hans, isn't it? The Hans do something weird. That's a bit annoying, but hopefully I'll just be able to wreck them when I do eventually attack. So that's fine. At your service. On the move. So, ah, jeez, whatever. Uh, so then I have this guy. How's this place doing? Instability. That'll go away pretty soon, so I should be able to hopefully get rid of this guy and deploy him somewhere else eventually. All my other armies are deployed. Grand. Okay. Let's see what we can build. So it's rich, so I'm going to build me some wheat fields. going to be super. He's only 15. I want to levy some troops. Oh, I know. Can't do that. Uh, my good Greece here. These guys produce some food. Not a huge amount. Uh, how do wheat fields make the, like the, the public more unorderly, you know? Uh, that's 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 what I want to do. Actually, and I'll probably up the workshops as well because I need that dollar. Oh, dollar bills, y'all. Right. Uh, let me think. Um, minus two. Why is this guy bring to the table? Plus two public order. if he does anything actually. So if we so it's minus two there, so if we go to these guys, it's still minus two. It's minus three. Still have ten turns and instability's gonna go way down while that's happening. So I'll just get rid of this guy as well. That'll save me some money. So then what I might do is might actually I might do. I might, because I kind of do need a third army at the moment. I might just recruit one. So there's a 
guardhouse there. Uh, is there a rally field here? Nope, just more guardhouses. Serium. Sure, there is a rally field, but it's broken, so I can't use that. Okay, I think this. Yeah, this one I made it out of fun. Patron, political animal, patron. Right. So, recruit That's him. And I will start recruiting an army. Because I really, really, really need one. Uh, right, so, um, that's my new army being created. Uh, oh man, Genoa, it's pretty wrecked. And all this goddamn uh, sanitation as well. It's, ah, uh, it's impossible. Right, I think that's everything I could do for this turn, and I'm kind of hungry now, so I think I'm gonna go make myself some dinner. So I'm going to finish the uh, episode here. So as always, thanks a bunch for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.